the other gods have killed. You have something worth fighting for. So I have to ask, did you ever think you were coming back to the MCU? I had no idea. Okay. Um, of course, it feels like everything's possible in the MCU, um, but I really didn't know until Taika approached me about about this episode. Right. I mean, have you been watching? I mean, you have kids, so I'm assuming they are a huge fans. Okay. Yes. Okay. So yes. you've been keeping an eye on. Things. I've been seeing how incredible the Marvel universe has been at expanding and coming up with new creative ways of exploring um, the characters and the worlds. And um, yeah, I had of course seen Ragnarok and was just blown away by what Taika and Chris and Tessa had done to kind of like reimagine what this world could be. Right, but how did he kind of get you to sign on? I think if Taika had asked me to do anything, I would have said yes. I mean, I'm such an enormous fan of, of what he does and um, what he's able to accomplish and imagine. I mean, he's just really like, so so talented, obviously, but also so like gutsy and trying really like spontaneous free work, even in this kind of like high stakes, big budget environment. What did you think? Did you wa you watch it last night? I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. What, well, what did you think? I loved it. <laughs> I'm so. I'm, I mean, it's it, it's like it doesn't. It shouldn't all work together. Yeah. Like <laughs> like every genre. Like you've got like deep. Um, like profound emotional moments with the silliest, wackiest humor, with romance, with like the, of course, the action with like horror elements. So it's like such an incredible um, like finesse that Taika has to be able to do all of that in one movie. Right. And it feels like one movie and it like really, all of it feels true and, yeah. and works. Mm -hmm.